Uh, Webster and Owens. We're in position. I'm sending Thurston in. We're gonna monitor him. I want you to do the same thing. But don't get jumpy on me. We move when I say so and not before. Yes, sir. Do you read me? Loud and clear. We've heard enough. We're gonna come in. It's okay. Now, would I take you someplace that wasn't okay? All right, come on. Well, it's just not something I think of myself as doing, that's all. Hey, hey. Angel, you've only been in town 10 days. I mean, I've taken care of you. A place to live, new clothes, interviews with film producers, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, Tommy, but... Hey, look. I know what you're feeling, but it's just temporary. I mean, as soon as I get you the right part in the right film, you know how hard I've been working for that. Yeah. OK. OK. <laughs> hey, good girl. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I'll see you back at my place, all right? All right. OK. I'll be with you in a minute, honey. She'll work out. If you have any trouble, just call me, all right? Hey, why don't you make up your mind? Come on in. Nobody's going to bite you. No, I, I couldn't, no. Ah, come on. You'll be glad you did. OK. Grab a chair, honey. You're from out of town, right? <laughs> I can tell. We get a lot of out-of-town visitors here. Relax, there's nothing to worry about. This place is legit. You get just what the sign says outside. Massages. <laughs> OK, I'll be back in a second with some of the masseuses. You get your choice. Any chance this guy could be legit, like he says? It's a standard spiel with these guys. So if they can claim later on they don't know what happens behind closed doors. And here we are. Take your pick. 20 bucks. And of course, any arrangements that you and the girl make strictly up to you. That's it. All right, Webster and Owens, let's move in. enough 18 no you're not hey buddy sandy is 18 her name's not sandy it's sharon she's 16 and she's a runaway from phoenix i'm a police officer here's a photo i swear i didn't know she was underage i according swear. to the law it's your responsibility to find out you're under arrest hey, move out the bike <laughs> Cuff, son. I'm reading his rights. Get him out of here. <laughs> what happened to the girl? She got in the way and went down hard. She was trying to get away. Okay, Sharon, you want to go to the station like that or put on some clothes? Clothes. They're in the next room. Check the room and stand by the door. Come on. A couple of women back there and customers. Get names and addresses, send them home. This place is closed as of now. Sir. Is it hurt bad, dear? <laughs> Don't try to get up. I'll get an ambulance. Here's the chart on that new patient in 308. I want a full run of x-rays on her. Yes, doctor. Angel Dunning? You know her? Well, I knew a girl named Angel Dunning a long time ago back home. What's wrong with her? Bruised kidney, possible internal bleeding. She was caught in a raid on a massage parlor. Oh. Couldn't be the same Angel Dunning. Good. Hey, Mary, I'll be right back.
Angel? <laughs> Jill. Angel! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe it. Not the same fat, ugly kid sister used to babysit. <laughs> you look just great. How long have you been in town? Oh, a little over two weeks. And you never called me? Well, I thought about it, but uh, I didn't want the questions. <laughs> Sit down. What happened? Trouble at home? Lots. And I don't want to talk about it. How about you? I heard you got married. You happy? Very. Oh, that's great. My sister Helen got married. Well, why are you here? I mean, why aren't you back home? Well, I want to get into pictures and television. A lot of people think I'm talented. So I came out here to try and break in. Great, but uh, don't you think a massage parlor is kind of a strange place to start? I've got an agent, a really terrific agent. He's he's done a lot for me already. And 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 he cares, Jill. I mean, he he really cares about me. Well, that's great. Uh, look, I have to get back to the nurse's station. I'll stop by and see you later, okay? I'll be disappointed if you don't. Okay. Jill. Yeah? Don't call my family. Okay. Promise. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, I know her family. Her older sister, Helen, was my best friend in school. There is no way that Angel would be involved in anything like that. Well, there's gonna be some reason. Have you notified the family? No. No, no, no. I promised her that I wouldn't. Well, look, now, it could just be naive on Angel's part thinking a place like that was okay to work in, you know? And she does have an agent. All right, check it out some more. It has all the signs. All the signs of what? This agent of hers could be legit, or he might be a basic pimp type. They pick up the kids coming into town. They hang out at the bus depot and the airports, looking for the lost ones, the desperate ones. They act interested, spend a little money on them, get them a place to live, give them a lot of love and sympathy. It's little investment for what they're going to get out of it. Now, look, Angel's not that gullible, and she's not stupid. Hey, baby, nobody says she is, but... She's alone. She's away from her family. She meets a good-looking dude who says he really cares for her. She's going to make the world just what she wants it to be. Jill, some of these kids want to be actresses or models, right? So he says to her, uh, you'll need some pictures. But don't worry about the bread, baby, because uh, I believe in you. I mean, I gave you a place to live. Here's some clothes for your interviews. This is for us, babe. This is our dream. So, uh, so maybe she gets a job. And it looks great for a couple of months. But then, nothing. No one calls. No money coming in. What about rent? Food? The bills? She's got nothing. No one. But her old man. So the pressure goes on. I mean, he's done for her. It's now her turn to do for him. OK, now stick with me. First, I lead you towards uh, a porno flick or a massage parlor. Introduce you to a few friends. Then all he has to do is stand back and let it happen. Before you know it, you're on the streets. I mean, the money's good, but first, I'm only taking 10, 15 percent. If you get busted, I'm there to bail you out. You need a doctor? You've got it. Anything. Now, you got to take his help. He's the only security you've got. And to show your love and gratitude. I'm now getting half of what you earn. And to make up for it, you're going to have to turn more tricks, baby. And he's going to take a little more and a little more. And in some cases, if you can't pick your tired body up to go on, a little drugs will help get you through the night. For a price. And now I own you. Body and soul. <laughs> Hey, 
Angel. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? Leaving. Tommy set up this real important interview for me first thing tomorrow morning, and I, I've just got to make it. Tommy's your agent? Yeah. He's not your doctor. Your doctor wouldn't release you in the shape you're in. Hey, don't worry. I feel fine. Uh, listen, Angel, this isn't a lecture. It's a fact. Now, you've been bleeding internally. It's okay. It's stopped for now. But unless you get plenty of bed rest, it'll start up all over again. Well, who says it has to be in this bed? Okay. Okay, look, I can't force you to stay. But I'm worried about your health. Now, look, here's my number. You call me either here or at home if you need to, all right? Okay, I promise. I guess I'm glad of Tommy. You're just about the closest friend I've got here. Yeah, well, then I wish you'd talk to me like a friend, you know? I guess I deserve that one. Well, the story's not too unusual. I got pregnant. The, uh, the father was, was old-fashioned enough that he'd say he'd, he'd marry me, you know? But I didn't want that. What I did want was the baby. But I was in school then, you know? No money, no job. And all I needed was for someone to see me through it. You know, to sort of help me get started so that I could support my kid. My sister Helen, oh no, she had her own problems, and my folks, well, they didn't want to know because they felt I'd disgraced them. It was like something out of an old 1930s novel. Anyway, uh, in my seventh month, I miscarried. And as soon as I got better, I came out here. wanted that baby. friend from back home. We were just talking about old times. Oh, terrific. Hey, you better get ready, huh? Yeah, yeah, it'll take me a minute. Could you uh, empty my drawer? Sure. Well, she seems to think a lot of you. It's mutual. She needs medical care. She really shouldn't be leaving. <laughs> Not according to her. According to her doctor. Well, maybe so, but it's her choice, you know. I'm not forcing her. Or influencing her? Uh, listen, uh, old friend from home. Get off my back, all right? I need Angel. More important, she needs me. I'm worried about her. You should be, too. You just worry about yourself, Florence Nightingale. I'll take care of Angel, and if you butt in, I'll take care of you. You understand what I mean? That didn't take long. That's scary. Angel, I wish you'd talk to your doctor. No, I'll be all right, Jill, really. Besides, he'll take care of me. Sure I will, Jill. Um, Angel, well, you keep in touch now. You promise? I promise for her. We'll both stay in touch. told me that you had some problems of your own. Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Could you just send me a recent photograph of Angel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Helen. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. <sighs> She's not gonna help you, huh? Well, she's a little bitter. She says Angel's 19, she has a mind of her own, and what can she do? Mike Angel is a scared, 
desperate kid. Well, I think you got another problem. I don't think angels ask for your help. Well, that's only because she doesn't realize how serious that kidney injury can be. And that's not the only thing that's bothering me. Mike, I've got to find her. Okay, meet me at the precinct tomorrow. We'll see if Riker can help us. I can't help you, not officially. She hasn't done anything. She's not a missing person. Look, Lieutenant, I met this so-called agent of hers. Now, he doesn't care about her health. I don't think he cares about anything except himself. Mrs. Danko, I am not unsympathetic, but you're not giving me anything to work with. If she were a minor, we'd have grounds for an investigation. All right, look, you're angry. I know how you feel. I feel the same way. Uh, I've just learned to put up with it. There is no law against a woman working in a massage parlor. There's no law against nude photographic studios. There's no law against sexual encounter groups. This agent of your friends is probably not an agent at all, but he's something else. There are hundreds of them like that in this city. Your friend is lucky she's 19 and not 14 or 16 and latched up with a guy like this. Well, okay, let's see how much we've got. Uh, how long has she been here? Oh, three weeks, I think. Can you give me a description of this uh, agent? 30, slim, six feet. Caucasian or black? Uh, Caucasian, well-dressed. Nice looking, actually, until he gets mean. You mean he doesn't look like what you think he is? No, not at all. Maybe he's in our mug file, and maybe he's wanted. If he is, then we can do something. <laughs> Mr. Bailey will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Oh, I'm so nervous. Hey, relax. These, these publicity shots are going to really impress him. I never had pictures taken like that before. Well, Angel, look, I mean, this is a very explicit movie. You don't expect anybody to guess how you look, do you? <laughs> no. Still a small town girl, huh? <laughs> I guess I can't help it. Hello, Tommy. Linda. Hi, Susan. Hi. Mr. Bailey said he might have time to see me today. Well, there are two others ahead of you. I'll ask him then. Okay. Yes, I will. Tommy, would you go in first? Thank you. Could you just tell me, uh, has he cast the part yet? I don't think so. He's still seeing girls today. Thanks. Where'd Tommy Boy find you? We, uh, we met at a bus terminal. <laughs> that figures. He's really been a very terrific friend. Yeah, I know, Mr. Terrific. You sound as if you don't like him. Oh, really? Oh, I wonder what ever gave you that idea. How old are you? Nineteen. You could pass for younger. Did you and Tommy work together? Yeah. But I got too old. See, I'm 24. Hard to believe, huh? No. Yeah, well, I really am. I'd like to see you at 24. Forget it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think you're very pretty. I used to be. Yeah. I sure did used to be. She's got a quality I don't see very often. Innocence. I like that. Not many of them have it. She won't have it for long. Yeah, I thought you might like this one. I like the Duran girl, too. Now, look, Mr. Bailey, I... That couldn't be helped. I didn't know that girl was that strung out on drugs. You make it your business to know things like that. I've had a three-day shooting delay already. I know, I'm really sorry. But the point is, I start the picture with one of your girls, and I replace it with another. Now, what assurance do I have that this one will work? She will. Believe me, just count on it. 
Well, if I take another chance with you and it doesn't work out either, you better be long gone out of this town, mister. Send in the girl. Who? No, no, she's all wrong. Besides, I've cast the part. Tell her there's a bit. Be on the set at 6.15 in the morning. Angel, you can go in now. Linda, Mr. Bailey says he's very sorry, but you're not quite right for the role. Oh. Hey, take care of yourself, kid. But he'd appreciate it if you'd consider a smaller part. Sure, why not? What time should I report to the set? 6.15, stage B. Thanks a lot. And uh, I really can't act. Mm -hmm. And where did you work? Well, back home, uh, high school, community theaters. Uh -huh. But uh, never in front of a camera. No. Well, everybody has to start sometime. Right, Tommy? That's right. Well, then, the uh, part is yours. <gasps> well, I thought you were just going to consider me for the part. I have. But you have to be a quick study, Angel. The picture's already in production. You start tomorrow. Congratulations, Angel. <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Thanks, Mr. Bailey. You remember what I told you, Tommy? I will. Thank you. Was this him? Yep. Thomas Michael Lawson, 78396. Let's see what his name sheet says. Here he is. Thomas Michael Lawson. Two arrests for pandering, one for assault. He's never convicted, and he's not wanted. What's his address? Last known address is no good. Sorry, baby. Puts us right back where we started. I'm no, afraid. it doesn't. We know his name. We know what part of town a guy like that would hang around in, so now all we have to do is just ask around, right? Who's we? You think I'm gonna let you go down in that neighborhood? You're crazy. Hey, Mike. Look, no. There are limits, and I know you want to help her, but you're just gonna have to let me handle it. Okay? Come on. Anybody call? Oh, yes, Consuela did. Oh, yeah? How'd she sound? Uptight, you know? I told her you'd be home soon, so she's coming over. Oh, that's all I need. Should never have gotten involved with that one. Want a drink? No. Have you read the script? Yeah. Yeah? Well, what'd you think? Well, it's, uh, it's pretty explicit. Oh, come on. Ed. Don't worry about it. It's just, uh, you know, kind of an adjustment for you, that's all. Oh, Tommy, I feel terrible. Hey. Well, you, you've done so much for me, and I know that, and I appreciate it, and I hate letting you down, but I can't do it. Hey, hey, now, look, just wait a minute. Have just... you read it? <laughs> what do you mean if I read it? Sure I've read it. Well, I don't understand how you could think that... Now, look, look, just slow down. Just calm down. I mean, just get that halo off your head. You know, this is not high school. You do what you have to do to make it in this town. Now, there are a lot of girls that started out like this. They're in all the columns, the talk shows, you name it. They're top stars today, and they pull top money, and that's exactly what you're going to do. But don't you understand? I can't do what they... Now, wait a minute. I think it's time that you understand something, sweetheart. I've got a lot more wrapped up in this deal than just money. And if you blow it, I'm in a lot of bad trouble. You know what kind of trouble that is? The kind that can't get fixed, that's the kind. Now, you wanted a part, and I got you one, a big one. I don't want any more talk about it. You are going to do it. 
It's open. Tommy. What? What do you want, Consuela? I need to talk to you. No, look, just tomorrow, all right? It can't wait. Now, please. All right, go in the bedroom. Tommy. Go on. You let what I said sink in deep. Okay, what? It's over. What's over? It don't make no difference what happens to me. It's over. Part of the deal, Consuela. You're going to stay here until you pay me back every bit of the money that I put out for you, for food, for your clothes, everything. I can't! You'll do exactly what I tell you you have to do. Now, do you understand that? Exactly what you have to do. Now, get out of here and wait by the phone till I call you. for you. Bring the van over right away. I want you to move something for me. Yeah, you could call it trash. Angel? Why aren't you dressed yet? I'm not going to. Now, look, you got a 10.30 call. I want you dressed. You're not going to be late. I didn't sleep at all last night. I kept seeing it happening over and over again. Angel, I can't take much more of this. You killed her. Now, that was an accident. Yours just might not be. Now, get yourself ready. How's it feel to have a day off? Well, I think I'd just soon be on duty. I did some shopping to try to take my mind off things. Look, what if I drop by for lunch in a couple hours? Okay, that'll be great. I'll fix you something special. Okay. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. for my sister. Have you seen her? Pretty girl. Yeah, thanks. But I don't know her. She works for Tommy Lawson. Now, you know Tommy. Everybody knows Tommy. Well, look, see, um... Now, I hear she's got some pretty good action going with Tommy, you know? And, uh... I'd like to get in on it. Well... Why don't I check it out for you? Can you wait just a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. That's better. It's better. Come on, we're late already. 
Yeah. Tommy, Colby over at the massage parlor. There's a chick here looking for you. Says she's trying to locate a kid sister. What does she look like? Oh, she looks good. She's tall, slim, dark brown hair, about 27. And she showed me a picture of a kid's sister. It's that new girl of yours, Tommy. She say why she wants to find her? Well, yeah, something about getting into some of the same action. <laughs> I think she's a phony. All right, Colby, look, do me a favor. I want that girl taught a lesson. She's not a cop, but she could be trouble. Oh, no, Tommy, not me. I've had too much with the cops lately. I'm out on bail, as it is. Then why don't I call Harry at the model shop? He'll take care of her. Okay, thanks. Tell him to do a good job. Just let her know someone's leaning on her. My pleasure. You rotten little fink. What is it? So you told your friend from the hospital you were having a little trouble, huh? Jill? I didn't call her. Then why is she out looking for us? Well, I don't know, Tommy. I swear, I don't know. A liar! Now get up. We've got an appointment to keep. Get up! over at the massage parlor sent me. I'm looking for my sister. He thinks uh, you might know where she is. Well, I don't think so. She in some kind of trouble? No, just looking for her. Where's with Tommy Lawson? Oh, Tommy. Yeah. Last time I talked to her, she said maybe Tommy could get some work for me, too. Oh, you're looking for work, huh? Yeah. Well, I can put you to work right now. It's okay, look. I'll wait and find Tommy. Hey, come on. I said you were looking for work. Let's go see how you do in there. Well, this is a customer and a very good friend of mine. If you work out, I'll put you on steady. Well, go on, Mama. Do your thing. The customer's waiting. Uh, hey, look. Uh, this is a mistake. Now, you didn't say anything about a mistake. You wanted to work, you said. Go ahead. Take your clothes off. Yeah, I think I better get out of here, okay? Hey, what is this? Uh, I just want to get out of here, okay? You can walk out this time, lady, but next time is a different thing. You come around here asking questions, making up phony noises to find Tommy Lawson or anyone else, and you're going to be a very sorry lady. You get my meaning? All right, out. No, no, not that way. This way, the back. Beat it! Hi, baby. You almost down? I'm running late. Nope. You okay? Well, it's just a home for a minute. Whatever it is, it'll be all right. It's gonna be all right. George, uh, I'd like to get this sequence by lunch, so I'd appreciate any speed you can give me, huh? You're late. Uh, I'm sorry. It uh, couldn't be helped. Good morning, Angel. Good morning. Are you nervous? A little. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Go get made up, huh? Come on. Oh. 
what is going on with you? Oh, it hurts. It hurts like when I was in the hospital. I think you did something when you hit me. Well, you better just pull yourself together. Do you understand me? Get over and get made up. Go on. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. You better stop, Johnny. We'll do the rest in the set. Yeah, she's here. Just a second. I think it's Angel. Hello? Oh, wait a minute, Angel. Slow down now. You're not making any sense. Okay. Look, I understand. Now, tell me exactly where you are. I, I don't know, Jill. It it's some studio somewhere. I don't know the city. What? No, no. The number's all scratched out. Look, I have to go. Somebody's coming. Please help me. She saw him hit the girl and then call someone to move the body. Well, she could end up the same way. There are several studios. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here. Lieutenant, I'd like to go along. It's against regulations, and you know it. I'm a nurse, she's badly injured, and you can't call an ambulance until you find the right studio. What do you say, Danko? It's all right with me, sir. Let's go. Sergeant, I get hold of Webster and Owens. I need them. Level 9 to control. Requesting a patch on TAC 2. Control, roger. Level 1. Level 1. Yeah, this is Level 1. Go ahead. Lieutenant, this is Webster. We just checked at Visual Film Lab. There's a porno flick being shot at the studio, which closed down a couple of days ago because the lead actress was uh, strung out on drugs. They're starting shooting again today with a new girl. The guy who runs the company's name is Bailey, and uh, they say he's a big man in the trade. All right, Webster, let's give it a try. Roger, Lieutenant. <laughs> Quiet, please. We're rolling. Action. That's right, Angel. That's it. Let him get a good look. That's right. Take your time. I thought... <gasps> Just like the last one. Are you on drugs? Oh, no. They said in the hospital I had to rest. When? Before I interviewed you? Here. Take this. It'll help get you through the day and kill the pain. No. Here, take it. No. Come on, take it. No. Come on, take it. I'm sorry. I thought she'd be all right. You 10th rate punk. All right, this company is shut down till further notice. Stay on call. If you're still in town tomorrow, you're dead. Get inside, please. What's this? Inside. The other door. Run. I thought you said you were all right. Oh, Tony! Let me get out! Nobody's going anywhere. Just hold on. Tony, you do hurt me!
Who's gonna pay for that? Who's gonna pay for all of this? I'm holding you responsible. I'll get my lawyer. I'm glad to hear you have a lawyer, Mr. Bailey, because you're gonna need one. What for? I didn't do anything. I've got a license, and this is a legitimate business. Did you try to give that girl this pill? That's a meperidine. It's for pain. It's not a hard drug. Book him for practicing medicine without a license. How is she? She's all right. She's going to be okay. This is the third time she's called, Angel. No, Jim. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to any of them. Hello? Yes, this is Miss Dunning's room operator. Mm-hmm. I'll take the call. Hello, Helen. It's Jill. Yeah, she's okay. No, there's nothing to worry about. She'll probably be released about the end of the week. I don't know. I'll see. Come on. Give her a chance. Hello, Helen. I'm fine now. How'd you find out? Well, I'm sorry. She shouldn't have called you. Hey, I know Jill's been a friend. Helen, don't, please. No, please. Just stop crying. Oh, let me, uh... Let me think about it, okay? I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. She, um... She said she loves me. She said the whole family loves me. They always did. You're their youngest. You're the baby. Jill, I want to go home. I just want to go home. home. Okay, Angel. It's all right. Come on, we all want to go home. Some of us... Like you and me, you're lucky. We've got homes to go to.